it's Preacher, and how's it going? Going good, we just got buffed through the teeth. Oh, yes. But the question really is why? Why did Blizz decide to do this? Why did they take this approach? Why not just nerf the foundry? Hmm, people say it's not a nerf. Blizzard said it wasn't a nerf. Get out of here. Something had to be done. Something had to be done. There were problems. We talked about it a few weeks ago. Many of you pointed me to a thread on MMO Champion and thought I might uh, be interested in it. Uh, where lots of people were discussing this issue. The thread is down below. And no, it wasn't helpful really. It was a full, absolutely chocked full of misinformation, half-remembered truths, and generally people just agreeing with anybody who had a similar issue to them. But there were a number of issues raised. One, the change from 10 to 20 man. A lot of guilds that were heroic 10 man guilds are being forced if they wanted to go for an appropriate level of progress for their players to go to 20 man, which they found extremely difficult. A lot of players saying it was just too hard. A lot of players saying you're not mythic raiders and now it's separating the men from the boys and all this kind of elitist nonsense. And everyone kind of agreed saying, no, everyone else is wrong. My idea is right. The truth of the matter is everybody was kind of right. Yeah, a whole combination of these things is true. Every single aspect of this is affecting somebody in some way. And I find the whole thing where it's like dismissing everyone else to be absolutely nuts. But it still leaves us with the fact. Something had to be done. It was a huge problem. Guilds were falling left and right. They were collapsing under their own weight for a whole fucking slew of reasons. And then there was people defending it. And the age-old argument of, well, Tier 11 had this happen as well. And Tier 11 took longer to kill bosses. I remember multiple tries on Alakir, multiple tries on Nefarian, blah, 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 blah. How rose-tinted. My God, how rose-tinted for anybody who was there at Current Progress must be rolling their eyes at such moronic approaches to the situation. Why? Tier 11 was one of the most horrendously broken tiers in the history of WoW. We can talk about Ad Courage had Cthulhu broken. That was our boss. Uro was particularly weird, but that was Abos. Tier 11, holy shit. From start to finish, it was just a fucking monstrosity of failure. And that's why a lot of bosses took various fucking approaches and tries and attempts to get working. One could only look at Paragon's Alakir video, let alone Nefarian, and see just how weird and crazy things got there. Let's not forget how disposable ten-man guilds were at the time in the eyes of Blizzard, with bosses going for months. Months, not weeks, days, months. Without them going, oh yeah, we've set these ads to their 25-man heroic HP levels. Hmm, maybe that's a problem for less than half the people to deal with. Yeah, here it is, Bliss. Little bit of an issue there. Let's not forget Atromedes. How can we? That was so brutally abused, I felt sorry for him. Somebody please get that guy a psychologist because that guy was just abused to all hell. Openly, openly bugged out, cheesed, abused, mechanically broken by every guild that killed it. Joe Gal guilds avoided it because it was so broken it was unkillable until one guild saw that, oh, there's been changes, we can go back and kill this now. Sinestra is dying to his own spells, or her own spells. Oh dear, oh dear, and the list goes on and on. I always find it kind of funny when people refer to, I remember Tier 11 taking a long time. Yeah, because it was broken as shit. That's why it took so fucking long. There was different kinds of class stacking for every boss. Doing Malkoriak, better get those Demonology Warlocks stacked up, otherwise you haven't got a chance. Fun times, fun times. But anyway, it's not, I, I guess, a, a simple Google search would fix these things, but why are you going to do that while you're browsing an internet forum? I get it. Something had to be done. Something had to be done. So Blizzard chose the approach of buffing everybody by five item levels who was getting access to Blackrock Foundry gear, which is everyone, because if you have a garrison... You get it, yeah? If you can step foot in the LFR, you are gaining some of this gear. And some people are really not seeing how much of a nerf it is. It's immense. It's a huge, huge, huge nerf to the raiding scene. And it is to the raiding scene. It affects nothing else. This is raiding quality gear. This is nothing that's going to help you in the rest of the game, really. It squashed any idea of Apex's <laughs> dailies or anything like that, but... Really? Is that a problem? Was that a problem? No. No, it wasn't. The problem was the raiding scene was in dire need of a fucking leg up. <sighs> so why take this approach? Well, nerfing an entire instance. Now that's a PR disaster, isn't it? Nerfing an entire tier. Every single boss, which is what's happened. If you look at how much damage, healing, mitigation... 
over a whole raid, even on an individual person you gain by adding five item levels. If you were lucky enough to have Blackrock Foundry gear in every slot, the bonus you get is up towards 15%. Yes, it is mathematically per person. If you're a good player, people, especially considering the very good compared to high mall gear, especially itemization that we got in Blackrock Foundry. Wow, did some classes see some crazy boosts. On average, about 4 or 5%, but 4 or 5% of every player? Whoa, yeah, step the fuck back. That's enormous. It's huge. It's absolutely ridiculously big. And that's affecting everything in the game. Every single aspect of raiding. And again, I stress this, this is an effect on raiding. This has no effect anywhere else. This is an effect on raiding and the problems those guys were having. People just weren't killing bosses quick enough. And if you don't kill bosses quick enough, you start to get angry. This mechanics need carrying. I see this argument a lot. It's like, oh, well, mechanically it can be done. Yes, absolutely. Quite a few guilds now, you know, quite a long time after the fact, have defeated Blackhand. And more will do it now. But not a lot. Not a lot. And the, the list gets shorter as we go down it for the bosses that were killed. And if you start, what happens? You guys know this. What happens when bosses aren't falling over enough? You really start to see the players who are fine with the level of content and don't see it as a big problem. And those who were, you know, they're struggling a little bit. And I saw lots of references to the fact that Siege of Ogmar was out for so fucking long that a lot of guilds were clearing Garrosh Heroic and thinking themselves of being mythic status. Yeah? And actually, it's just because you had like a year to deal with it. Yeah, you had a year to get over that stuff and keep recruiting people and getting in there and getting free gear and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, that's true. There are a lot of guilds who probably weren't ready for it. What is a Mythic Raider? What counts you as a Mythic Raider? It's pretty fucking easy, really. I see this reference thrown around like it's some status symbol. Like, some people are Mythic, some people are Heroic. And you, my friend, are no Mythic Raider. No, 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 no. You are something else, something lower, something far beneath. What's a Mythic Raider? Simple. Somebody who's killed Heroic Blackhand because that's the next challenge. And that's about it. You kill Heroic Blackhand, you're a Mythic Raider now. Because <laughs> that's your next step. That's where you go. And that's because you've defeated everything before it. And therefore, you're now up to this standard. That's about it. And it was very, very tightly tuned. And I think that was the issue. Not the difficulty. The mechanics themselves, not hard. Avoising stamp and dealing with fireballs and all that kind of stuff. It's not particularly hard, is it? It's not. For some players, of course it is. But for most people, no, that's not a problem. Problem is you had to do that while doing, obviously, very, 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 very good DPS, healing, and tanking. You did. You had, your positioning had to be key, crucial. You had to think about these things. You had to use combinations of cooldowns in a very particular way. And someone screwed that up. That's a wipe. One guy messes a cooldown up, one guy does a slightly weaker DPS, one guy gets affected by too many things, and suddenly you're you're looking at wipes. Simple as that. Your DPS didn't quite hit that mark. It was great DPS, but just not quite. Not quite. And all these things added up to a hell of a lot of wipes on early content bosses. And then people, and this is what I'm saying, people start getting angry. And start blaming. And start the war. That really tears guilds apart. Progress in itself is just a symptom of the eventual problem, which is demotivation and absolute rage and disharmony within your guild. Nothing will kill the kill a guild quicker than when raiders start blaming other raiders for things because they're frustrated. Absolute frustration. Uh, I have learnt this boss. I can deal with it, and now I have to wait for everyone else to catch up. And when people make mistakes. How many of those low percentage wipes are you going to deal with before you start going, dude, I'm going to rip your fucking throat out. And then people start forming little clicks. And then you have these little conversations between the players who have coped with it. And often sometimes, and it really bugs me a little bit, is those players are guys who probably needed 30 wipes to actually learn it, which is a long ass fucking time. Every player has a different skill set. I can look at all guard your mythic and say that for me is a two pull kill. It is. It's like two pulls. Okay, that's the difference. And then let's kill it. Because for me, it's not much different than Heroic in any way. And other people will need 30 wipes at that to get there. But then they will join the elite club of, I can deal with this, I no longer die, and there's somebody else who needs 40 wipes. Or whatever the scaling might be, and depending on whichever boss. And then they start getting angry at those players. Despite the fact that you weren't playing too great anyway. 
And there's nothing worse than the the kind of half guy who's just made it. They're the they're the worst. They're the fucking worst. They're the absolute worst. The guy who's finally caught up, but now there's somebody else who's got to catch up. And God, do they take their frustrations out? Because now I'm good. I'm fine. I'm dandy. Frustration, disharmony. It really rips your guild in two because people are angry. They're logging in pissed off, waiting for those players to make those mistakes. It's a bummer. And it was happening everywhere. All over the place. From the top end down to the low end, it's happening everywhere. So Blizzard had to do something. Nerfing entire raids here, that's, that's a disaster. You can't do that. In a way, you can't just come out and say, hey, guys, we need to nerf this back down to make you happy. And there'll be a lot of people saying, oh, well, you just weren't good enough. Blizzard's not cool with that. And they're not talking about Mythic. I think there's too much focus on Mythic in this conversation. It was the heroic guys. That's where the bread and butter is. It's the heroic guys who were struggling even more so. Because there's way more of those guys. And there were definitely huge ramp-ups in difficulty. We can, one can only look at things like Blackhand and say, What the fuck? This was a huge step up. And it was. It was a huge step up in difficulties compared to everything else. And those are the guys who really needed a fucking helping hand. Because there's an entire raid tier yet to go. We were doing Mythic Highmall. We were. And now we're not able to do this and this and this. And this is the heroic version. Oh my god. The loot argument. Let's talk about that for a moment. The loot argument. Black Rock Foundry loot was just not rewarding enough. This was Blizzard's take on it. It wasn't rewarding enough. Bullshit. Bullshit. If you were a raider, you knew straight away that the itemization of most of the classes in High Mall was dog shit. Black Rock Foundry was not. And many, if not everybody, was taking Blackrock Foundry gear that was slightly lower item level because it was considerably better in terms of stats than the other gear you were wearing, which was probably Mythic High Mall. It is! I look at my gear now, and my gear, several pieces are lower than stuff that's in my bank. Why? Because it's better. It's better. Tier bonuses are better. The trinkets are just better. They're better than my I don't use things like versatility. And I was drowning in it. Drowning in it. And now it's starting to go away in favor of stats that really start to mount up and make sense. And Raiders knew this. You did. And a lot of people say, well, you know, the loot wasn't right. We were disenchanting it. Mm. You were disenchanting it. All of it, from day one, you were goofing up. And I guarantee not really many of you are doing that. Unless you're still running Heroic and still looking to go into Mythic. It's not the Mythic guys that really needed the prop up. They were just like the top end. Sure, they're the ones that maybe have the loudest voices sometimes. But it was the mid-level guilds. The guilds that don't get their voices heard all the time. They were really in trouble. Really, really in trouble. And you lose too many people, the raiding scene itself collapses. And they don't want to see that because it's happened in the past. It has happened in the past. It happened in Kata where the raiding scene was in diabolical shape and needed changing, which is what happened in Mists. That's what happened. It's been a tough time, but that's why, in my opinion. Simply from a PR standpoint, because effectively they've nerfed the whole game. If you think about it, they nerfed the whole game. Five little item levels. Look at the scaling of damage in Warlords of Draenor. It's crazy. 20 item levels difference, the DPS difference is astronomical. It's crazy. If I use my 650 odd or 660 druid and go in and do really perfect play and then go in and my 6 fucking 85, 687 rogue, the difference is absolutely in insane. It's crazy. 20 odd little item levels. Well, that's a lot, preacher. Yeah, it is. But the DPS difference is almost double, if not triple or quadruple in some occasions. It scales ridiculously. I have no idea where this road ends in terms of scaling damage by the end of this expansion. We will be in some crazy territory compared to a fresh, nicely dinged level 100. We'll be in some stupid territory, I guarantee it. Procs are already starting to mount up. People are starting to pay attention. Stats are starting to make sense. They're starting to stack up. It's already very well and good being wearing like full Mythic Highmall gear, but your stats weren't right. You had to wear crappy gear that was kind of okay. Half good. And now we're seeing it really mount up. And then you stick five item levels on top of really well itemized gear. Whew. An enormous nerf to the whole game. Because as I said, all you need is a garrison to access this stuff. It's all you need. 
All you need is a garrison, and you'll start getting it. All you need to do is queue for LFR, and you'll start getting it with five level item level bonus. Really saddens me a little bit how completely null and void High Mall is now. Completely null and void. If we could compare it to the start of Mr. Pandaria, which also had three separate tiers, there were still reasons to go to some of those other dungeons, even till the end of the, that tier. There were. Picking up various... Uh, Shah touched weapons, picking up various tier sets, little odd items. All that kind of stuff was quite nice. But now Highball is so massively redundant, which it kind of was already. Don't get me wrong, it kind of was already. Especially for those who understood the power of Black Rock gear. Then, it's a little sad that so early in the expansion, one of the current... I mean, this stuff is supposed to be current. That's what we've got to bear in mind. Highball is supposed to be current content. It's supposed to be part of the same tier. And now, Jesus Christ, is that thing outdated. It's so outdated, it's like having a fucking iPad 1 while you're looking at a fucking brand new iPad 4 or 5 or 6 or whatever Jobs has got on the, on the go. Crazy stuff. Really weird and staggering starts this expansion for the raiding scene. Crazy stuff going on now. I've never seen it leap and bound and ups and downs and troughs, peaks, so quickly. We've only, this is supposed to be one raiding tier. This is it. This is the first opening one. And already we're seeing that classes are still fundamentally changing their rankings to how their spell works on a, a weekly basis. A week by week basis, classes are being buffed and nerfed and talents switched and changed. And now we're seeing like an overall game nerf come into play, which is what it is. You boost the power of every single player in the game, pretty much. And that's a huge game nerf. Crazy stuff. But hopefully, having said all that, Having said all that, hopefully this does lead to stopping the obviously leaking well of raiders and guilds who are struggling. Hopefully this eases the tension more than anything. I think that's the big result Blizzard wants, is to make happy players. There aren't many unhappy players that suddenly being more powerful. They're not. So, your character is now just more powerful. That's cool. People are happy with that, which is why from a PR standpoint, this move makes sense. Hopefully this will cheer people up. Over the next few weeks, we'll probably see people kind of taper into, okay, I can get things done now. Bosses will start falling over, and they'll hit a wall again at Blackhand for most guilds. Absolutely, that's going to happen. But mostly, that'll be Blackhand Mythic, and I don't think people are going to be too worried about that. I don't think so. Hopefully, this does stem stem the tide and just nicely plugs up that wall. And just, thank God, it just eases up on the tension and frustration because you can see it everywhere. You can see people are just getting angry, upset, looking for somebody to blame. If you make a mistake in some of these raids, which everybody does, every single player in the world makes a mistake at some point. But if you happen to be the one, good God bless you in a guild of people who are already grumpy and unhappy. God bless you. All right, guys. That's my take on it anyway. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.